<laughs> everyone, it's Rachel and this is my sister Talia. Hello. And we're in Bali just chilling in the pool. So I just thought maybe I'll ask you some questions, you can ask me some questions. Clearly we don't have notes because they'd get wet. Um, so we're just going to wing it and I just wanted to introduce you all to my beautiful sister. Aww. Just, you know. Um, so the last time we saw each other was in March when I went home to Australia and I think at that point I was about 26 weeks I was six weeks after surgery and I stayed for three weeks so I left at like week nine I think and I think all, all up by the end of the trip I'd, uh, I was down a total of about 18 kilos and now I'm down about 45 kilos so did you notice much of a difference? When? Because I can't I still well, struggle to see it. When she first got back to Australia in March, was it March? Yeah. Um, I could notice a difference, but I knew to look for it, I suppose. But yeah. even around your face and everything, I could notice a big difference. But when I um, got here last Saturday, it was insane. Like, it blew my mind. I couldn't believe it. Like, she's just... Like it sounds in offensive, but she was literally like half, <laughs> half a person, half a size. I'm not offended. Yeah, I know. I don't offend her. No, either. and I say quite yeah. worse things. Than that. <laughs> That's true. Um, what was I going to say? It was insane. Yeah, and but you've seen my pictures. You are the only one apart from Louis that knows about my YouTube channel, um, and so you've seen all of my progression shots yeah. all along but it was still a surprise yeah massive like seeing it in person is so much it's so much different than like you telling me about it and seeing the progress shots and everything like that like I could just yeah crazy mm. so that's fun because I still look to see myself a lot of the time as big as what I was and no she's she's got this weird thing like she's scared to sit on certain seats and um, to get in cars last oh first she doesn't want to get in the taxis first and because I don't like to like slide my body along the seat but you don't need to do but that now so it was always so awkward to do that yeah. so I still have a thing about not wanting to do that and she thinks she's a lot bigger than what she is and she can't believe that she there is much of a difference I can tell a big difference in my face because when I look back at other photos, I don't really, like, I'm like, Jesus, I don't recognise that face. But I really don't see a lot of change in my body. Mm, there it is. I think because the, I've still got the two fat rolls on my stomach. I've still got, you know. But she's wearing a two-piece bikini and I never thought that you'd ever yeah, feel confident true. enough to do that. Like, no. you've always been confident, but... Even now, you're still insecure a bit. A bit. But join the club. Like, who's not insecure? I think it's my little flappy, my flap, my thigh flap. We're not calling it flap anymore. We've renamed it. What are we what was it? Last night. No, we can't say. We can't say what we're oh. going to name it. Personal <laughs> reference to someone that we don't, don't really like. like. Um, I'm lucky her. I meant him. I meant her. <laughs> <laughs> um. What was I going to say then? Eating wise in Bali, you've been bloody on point. Why, oh, thank you, Talia. <coughs> not, mm -hmm. not 100%. No, but, but pretty good. Really good for holidays. Yeah. And I have to say, it's quite hard for me because I'm trying to be good as well. But Rachel will still order a main meal and I have to finish it. And probably a starter. And a starter. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't leave the table unless I finish it. I'll probably end up making my own video soon. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. So, uh, we've, no, you haven't been eating much at all. No, but yeah. I've put on a kilo so far. <laughs> In a week. In a week. And I've been really good. <laughs> <laughs> haven't been eating the rice. No, we've been in, yeah, we've avoided rice. We've had dessert once. Yeah. And that was like mandatory. Couldn't avoid it. No. It had to happen. At some point it had to happen. Yeah. But to be honest, it had coconut in it, so yeah. it was quite healthy. Yeah. <laughs>
do you think um, when I get home, people, <clears throat> other people will notice that maybe even people that don't know I've had surgery? Yeah, 100%. Everyone will notice, but I don't know whether they'll say anything. Like what I was saying to you, people find it awkward to comment on people's weight, even if it is a positive thing because they don't want to insult them. So I think everyone will definitely notice. Everyone. It's, it's a massive change. Mm. And what do you think I should do about the wedding? Like, so, okay, so let me... You want a pre-show? Yeah, so let me explain it for people watching and then we okay. can talk about it. And I'd really love everyone else's thoughts on what you think I should do. So, I won't have been home for... It will be almost a year since people have seen me. Like, what, 10... 10 months something like that yeah. um, and a lot of the first time I see a lot of the people there will be um, when I'm walking down the aisle unless I make an, a big effort to Catch see a lot of people beforehand which I don't think I'll get time to do so my thoughts and concerns is if it is a big difference and I'm not 100% sure it is do I walk down the aisle with people not having seen me since I've lost weight and have that be the moment that they're like oh the big reveal the big yeah like a big reveal I think with the photographers and the videographer there that would be quite nice on camera because then it will look like it's about my wedding and my dress but it it I don't want it to detract from my day either, but at the same point, the um, the creative person in me that looks at content for a job thinks that would be quite nice captured. Hmm. <clears throat> I think that Rachel should post a before and after picture on her Facebook where like her family and friends and stuff are, not the weight loss Facebook. Um, Do you really? That's not my style. Though. I know, but I feel like you could just. And it would, you don't have to tell people that you've had surgery, you could just say... I'm not, um, uh, yeah, I'm not hiding that I've had surgery. No, but you could just say something like, um, pre-wedding diet, um, can't wait to fit into my dress. Throw it out there. Then, it's, it's not such a shock to everyone to see you and you won't feel self-conscious that everyone's going to just be looking at you losing weight rather than you looking amazing in your dress. That's my thoughts. Yeah. I don't really like doing the, the idea of doing like a big disclosure post on Facebook and having to field all those questions and... Mm. You don't like doing a lot of and things that you have to do. <laughs> Who does? <laughs> but also I have I have professional people on there as well. Mm. And I don't really... You do have the Facebook event. <laughs> well that's true. I could post it in my, wedding, in my wedding event. And then it will be really like throwing it out there or what about doing like a like the bridal shower stuff like that for all the females the aunties and stuff like that that could be a good idea have them to the ends mm. oh you want a bridal shower i don't know but i want both can i you have, both? have both oh you, you can do whatever you want i mean yeah fine mm. um so yeah, let me know what you think below, what your advice, what would you do if it was you and your whole family and friends hadn't seen you for 100 pounds, 50 kilos, um, be interested to see. Mm. Very interesting. Mm. What was it like for you, like seeing my skin and I was showing you like my, how my skin's going now? I didn't really expect, I didn't know what to expect when you would talk about it, like I didn't ever think that, because she's quite dramatic, let's be honest, she's very dramatic. It's not true, I deny that. And that doesn't run in the family. No. Um, it, it's, it's quite weird, like, feeling it. That's alright. <laughs> I just, I don't know. Like, she did say, like, when I was showing her my thighs, because I have this, like, flap of skin um, on my thighs, and I'll insert a picture here. Oh, lucky them. <laughs> <laughs>
And then she told me Louis uses it as a stress reliever. <laughs> I hadn't told anyone that apart oh. from um, Leanna Lily, BSG. Oh. But yeah, so Louis like, he'll grab like my arm skin and he'll just sit and squeeze it, or the skin on my thighs, or I could not on my hip, with that. and he'll just sit there while we're watching TV, like just, he's like, it's like a stress ball. <laughs> I couldn't deal. That's love. I'd probably end up punching him. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't actually bother me. At yeah, first I, I was like, weird. oh my god, this is weird. And now it's just like, it's it happens, day -day so, life. <laughs> happens so frequently. And, and this is how I feel about it is that he knows I'm fat and he knows that I'm, I've got skin. He sees it and he sees me all the time anyway. No, it's true. I, I get that. Oh, I get that. And I don't want to be self-conscious around him. And actually, that's his whole big thing. He always has said that the whole time. Like, I don't ever want you to feel self-conscious around me. He's the best. And so I had to kind of, like, force myself the first, like couple of times to just grin and bear it so that I would get used to it and be comfortable more comfortable with my skin very wise words I'm a wise lady sometimes she is quite wise come on I'm the wisest person you know I'm pretty wise myself though <laughs> We're wise -ass. not including myself though yeah. yeah you are you're up there yeah I guess seeing it was yeah skin. Yeah, the skin. I'm still talking about the skin. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you interrupted me. Sorry. Didn't get to finish what I was going to say. Don't really have much to say other than it just really surprised me. I wasn't. I didn't know it would be like that. I just thought everything would go back into shape. That, Especially how much you pump the weights. Yeah, but that, that's something that quite annoys me. Not you. Well. Um, but people. It's ignorant. When I'm talking about my skin, and. Oh, someone's making an appearance in the back. Oh um, uh, well. <laughs> um, when like like if I was talking like talking to my mum about my skin, for example, she's like, just get in there and do the exercises; it will go away. And I'm like, that's not how it works. She must have loose skin, though. She doesn't really. She's got quite but, nice. She's skin. got quite good skin. So my mum, only for a really short time, I don't remember her big that much, but she did get up to about a size 22 when she did had she? when she had late. Um, oh, our was brother. she pregnant? No, after she had um, our brother, okay. one of our yeah. brothers. Um, but now she's like a size. What? What is she now? Because I've not seen her oh, since March. She'd she be was a about 10. a 14. She'd be a 10. Really? I'm a size 12, and this is Australian size 12. Same as UK sizes. So. And Mum is smaller than me, so the next size down is a 10. Wow. Yeah. So, so she would like, be a just, ten. Just, just, um, just get in and do your exercises. She's it will really go away. She's got great boobs. Yeah. I'm. She's got better boobs than me now, and she <laughs> breastfed five kids. The Rachel. <laughs> you always flash it. What? The honka la tonka. Oh yeah, I don't flash it, but I do. Yeah, but I, then when I she's in the do. shower, you go and open the door. <laughs> she's I, such a creep. I always. Although I did have a look myself. <laughs> I always squeeze my mum's boobs I always, and I always go honka tonka <laughs> or honka la tonka and I've done it ever since I was a kid and I still do it now at 35. <laughs> she hates it but well, she I'll secretly loves it. I'll do this like in her chest like because I like when I smuggle up and I like to just get the boobs comfy. She says she hates it but she loves it. Really? She leaves it wide open. <laughs> I mean, she's got them on her chest. They're just hanging I'm out for everyone to see. Put them away if you don't want to. <laughs> I'm making her sound like a tart, like she's got her cleavage out of <laughs> She's so pr not pr well conservative. She, she never has not the girls have, out. I never have seen mum wear a top with cleavage. No. But does that stop me? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Nothing stops her. <laughs> Um, what, were, what were we talking about? Mum's skin. Anyway, she says she says oh, that um, no. just get in and exercise and the skin will go away. I'm like, it's not how it works. But and Louis says the same sort of thing. But some just, people can do that though, can't but they? That, yeah, but that depends on their on the makeup of their skin. Like what type, what skin type have they got? And have how they long got they've very, been bigger. And for? how long they've been bigger? How old they are? But I have stretch mark prone skin. And I just have that kind of skin consistency that it, it's not going to bounce back. Yeah. 
and that's okay I'm okay with that Just needs to have a lot of surgery in my future after after the baby can know yeah. yeah there's no point getting the surgery before kids. although I, I would get my arms done before kids and what about your legs they're pretty bad oh five you legs. get legs done before kids couldn't you I don't know it's right near your vagina so I don't know and you don't sure. know how much weight you're going to put on when you have kids that freaks me out yeah well you still be cool. eating the same what nutrients can you have you just you have to take supplements well i already take supplements but you take mm. extra and um i think you have to eat maybe a little bit more frequently yeah it's like only an extra 100 grams or something yeah it's not it's not that much everyone you, thinks you've got to eat for and two you, but. you don't and you get monitored closely so yeah and if you put on i think is it more than 20 kilos of your pregnancy and um, then you're doing it wrong yeah my friend put on 20 kilos when I was in. Yeah, but did she eat a lot? Anyway, I don't know. Do, do I think we have the body type there. Oh, we'll like our figures. It on. Yeah, we'll be like childbearing heifers. hips. Um, yeah, that's what mum always says. Got the childbearing hips. Um, but I, I hips never. Don't lie. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> they really don't lie. And my breasts are like mount. What are they? Like mountains. Small and humble. Small and humble. Yeah, like mountains. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but you know, I only had surgery to have kids, really. So I always like. I, I've been asked a few times, does it not worry you about putting the weight back on after you have um, children? I was like, no, nah, I don't care if I get as big as I was before if really? I've got the kids. I mean, I do, but if that's what happens, it'll be worth it if I've got kids. But. I wouldn't, I, I really wouldn't let that happen to myself. No. I have to be quite, I wouldn't like, let my, you do that. No, I have to be my, but I'd I'm have just, to move over there and control just, yeah. the sit I might do it just for that. We've got to find myself a husband in the UK, just shout out to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, she needs to immigrate. <laughs> Sorry, just, just anyone watching? Just legal stuff on. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, you can fall in love first. Oh yeah, I'll fall in love. Yeah. Real, real <laughs> love. That's another song. Real, real love. Is this real? Real, 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 real love. Real love. Oh. Songbirds of our generation. We really are. Both of us. Daddy, do you want to summarise? So in summary, <laughs> it was good to see each other. We needed this week. We needed it. Deep into our souls, we needed it healed my heart. It's done a lot of healing. Is it healed yours a little bit? Oh, a lot. I feel I feel whole again. Oh, and I, nice. the best thing is I get to see her in two months? Two months. Two months. For yeah. wedding time. Woo. Okay, leave your wedding thoughts down below on what you think I should do. <clears throat> um, and that's it. I'll speak soon. Bye. Bye.